What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome back. It's your boy Blue. Welcome to Train Sim World 2. We're here on at Atlantic Terminal on the Long Island Railroad. We'll be assigned to the 12282 West Hempstead today um, for our route. We'll be driving that train right there, the M7. Engineering work at Locust Manor means this service is only running as far as Jamaica. Sounds good to me. Being a quick run, you're only afforded to, sh to a short turnaround at Jamaica before coming back to Atlantic Terminal. Alright, so uh, I guess we're going to Jamaica and back. So we'll make the return leg here. And uh, I, actually, look, I don't know, is this our train? Let's go down here to the end. Everybody's deboarding this train. Alright, excuse me. Excuse me. Alright, hold on. Get out of my way. Thank you very much, freaking New Yorkers, man. Very busy out here on uh, platform two. It's about what twelve twenty six, I believe that's AM. We're gonna go around. <laughs> gonna run around this way. Uh, it actually looks like this is not our train, guys. Yeah, this is not. I think it's another platform over. So let's go down here, and uh, we'll switch platforms. Let's see if we can go all the way to the other, other other end, and see if it's over here. Get our cardio in this morning. Uh, nope. Okay, we missed it. Need to go down to the middle platform. All right, get those stairs in, baby. Stairmaster, let's go. All right, this is our platform. This is uh, platform four. And you see the doors are closed. I see one guy down there. So go ahead and open one of these doors. MTA, Long Island Railroad, watch the gap. Hello, hello. Good, uh, good afternoon. <laughs> you know, the New Yorkers are quiet. They don't talk to nobody out here. All right, here we go. So here's our seat up here. We're going to shut this door. Or open slash shut the door. Hop in our seat. And then uh, looks like we're gonna have to get the uh, train ready to go. So let's go ahead and hit the master key on. Wow, that's loud. And then we'll turn the looks like the reverser to f uh, neutral, and then the master controller to max brake. Turn on the auxiliary lights to bright, and we'll charge the brakes up to 90 psi. See that down in our UI? It's going up 90. All right, there's a minimum minimum of 90. Uh, we'll go ahead and continue to lower passengers. We'll unlock the left doors completely. And uh, we should be good to go. As you can see, the platform is pretty empty right now. But uh, we'll be waiting here for just about 10 seconds or so uh, for our scheduled departure time. And I think everybody who's going to be on board is already here. All right, let's lock the doors. I think they're locking. Yep, they're locking. And I'll go back inside. All right, ready to go. North Strand. Avenue by 1235. All right, guys, let's get started. Let's go ahead and release the mass controller brakes. Move that to the minimum power. Actually, you see that on our um, our speed speedometer thing. It's actually not going. Why is it not going? Oh, I think we're in neutral still. Hold on, let me see. There we go, forward. All right, now we can go. All right, minimum power. There we go. All right, so you can see our, our speed limit right now is like five miles per hour, so we can't get going too fast. So we got to watch that. I'm going to do my best today to try to be on time and get these guys uh, to work or wherever they're going as soon as possible. Still haven't mastered braking and getting uh, getting the stopping distance just right. It's the hardest part, you know what I mean, about these train simulators. It's really figuring, figuring out the stopping distance and getting it right perfect. So um, that's the most challenging part, honestly, about these train sims. And they're all different. Every train is different. It's the stopping distance, how long it takes. So, looks like we're going to be at 5 miles per hour here for just a little bit. So, let it coast. Alright, there it is. Finally. We are free. It looks like the new speed limit is going to be 45 miles per hour. Really creeping there for a while. <laughs> Literally just sitting here waiting for the speed limit to go up. So we're going to go uh, basically full power ahead now. Uh, we still only have two, less than two minutes now to get to that next station, which is about a mile away. And, uh, and uh, honestly, right before that, the speed limit is going to drop down to 30 again. So we're going to kind of speed up here and then try to slow back down to get underneath 30 right before we get to our station. And uh, hopefully that, that works all right. Oh, there we go right there. Let's go ahead and pull that power back. Let it coast right at 45. Now we're moving, baby. 
So yeah, one mile until we get to No Strand Avenue. And we have just over a minute to get there. So hopefully we can get there in time. And the speed limit is going to drop here just in uh, just a few hundred yards. So I got to get all the speed I can. I do need to slow down. So right now we're coasting it and we're going uphill. Here comes 600 yards to that speed limit. So we're about 10 miles per hour faster. I'm going to go minimum brake now. And hopefully we can get it slowed down in time. Just down to right, right at 30. I don't want to go too slow because we're still trying to get there on time. We still have not a lot of time to get there to that next, next station. Here comes 36 miles per hour, 35, 200 yards away. We're still climbing, so that, that climb, that uh, that gradient is also helping us get our speed down. We'll add a little bit more brake. We're less than 100 yards away. Here comes 32, 31. All right, there we go. Perfect timing. <laughs> oh, I'm getting too good at this. There's a train coming. We're going to go to uh, coast. Actually, we'll do, yeah, we'll do minimum power. That's one of the uh, old school trains right there. Finally out of that tunnel. That's the MI3, I believe. Train. That's another DLC for Long Island Railroad. So we're 300 yards away, and we need to be there in like now. <laughs> so coming up this 2.5% gradient. So kind of got to get a little extra power to keep our speed going. Speed limit right now is 30, going up to 45 here just a bit. So when we leave this station here at No Strain Avenue, we should be able to leave a bit quicker. All right, so go down to minimum braking. Start breaking it. You kind of have to fill it out. So we get slowed down. We'll be open with the right side doors when we get stopped. Here we go. Full brakes. Maximum brakes. Make sure you don't dip into uh, <laughs> into the emergency. It's very easy to switch over to emergency. There we go. Unlock the right side doors. And we'll start boarding the passengers. It's actually raining out here. You can see uh, the... Uh, New York City in the background up there. That's pretty cool. Oh wow, yeah, lots of people getting off now. All right, time to go. Release the brakes, and it's going to East New York now. All right, speed limit is 45, so we're gonna roll out of here pretty quickly. We got three minutes to get there. 2.3 miles is the distance. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how long our uh, service is going to be today. I know we're going all the way to, they said, Jamaica, and then back to Atlantic City. Or whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> Atlantic Terminal, my bad. I don't think it's Atlantic City. Alright, I'm going to go all the way max power. And we'll get ourselves up to that speed limit. There's a school bus down there. It's a nasty rainy day. So do we have wipers in this train? Where are the wipers at? Right, back down to minimum power because we're like right below it now. I think I see a train maybe in the distance. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can find the wipers. I'm not sure where they are. Here they are. Go low. There we go. Alright, slow down. We're already above the speed limit. It's that quick. That's how easy it happens. So yeah, now we're uh, above ground, so we're no longer underground. I think we should be above ground for the majority of our route today, except for the Atlantic Terminal section. All right, we're on a down gradient now, so I have to continue to add a little bit of braking in there to, to stop our, our speed from climbing. So listen, we're going right back down in the underground again. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe we're going to be underground for a lot of this. I'm not sure. Well, speed limit is still going to stay at 45 here for the next two miles. And then it goes up to 70, which is going to be really nice. I really like it when the speed gets fast. Uh, we're going to shut the wiper off for now. Now that we're under... Off. There we go. Now that we're underground. Still on a, uh, a gradient, a negative gradient. So we're going downhill. So we got to watch our speed. We're running a minimum brake right now. And you know, kind of bouncing between coast setting and minimum break. We're only less than a mile away now, 800 yards. We're going to start, start stopping here very soon. 
I'm probably gonna wait around till we get to like 500 or so, and then basically just freaking <laughs> pile the brakes on. Here we go. All right, starting with 50%, start filling it out, see how how we're doing. Start maybe add 70. Bring it back a little bit. Yeah, let it coast some, and we're pretty much right on time. 12:40, not bad. I guess this one is still kind of above uh, above street level, so we're still still not underground. It looked like we're underground. I guess it's just a tunnel. It's a cool. It's, I actually really like the Long Island Railroad route. I like the stations look really cool. A nice variety of stations. You got above ground, underground stations. And we'll stop it right here. I kind of went past it a little bit, but that's okay. I also like the sounds that you hear down here. It's pretty darn cool. All right, doors are locked. We are ready to go. Next up, Jamaica, 1247. So we got six minutes or so, maybe a little bit less, to get there. Speed limit's gonna be 70, starting in about a mile from here, so we should be able to, to rock it down there. I love it when the speed limit gets high, because then I can really start to move. Especially if I'm, if we're behind, I can make up some time, a lot of times in those sections, by kind of uh, accelerating pretty quickly. So goodbye, East New York. And through the tunnel we go again. All right, there it is, up to 70. Again, we're gonna, I'm gonna really hit the power pretty hard just to make sure we stay ahead of schedule. Not gonna be all that comfortable for our passengers, but hey, you know, it's New York. <laughs> we have three minutes to get there and four miles to go. All right, coming up on one minute out from Jamaica, and 1.2 miles away. Speed limit is about to drop here. Um, down to 45 miles per hour. We're still right knocking on the door of 70. So we're going to put a lot of brake in to get this speed limit. Let's get our speed down, our actual speed down to 45 or below. Here comes the rain. We're going to add the wipers back. And here's 47, 45. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. That, uh, that uphill really helped us coming out of that tunnel. All right, so we're at 41, and it's going to drop again down to 35. Uh, I think that's because we're approaching Jamaica. Jamaica's a pretty big uh, terminal, so I think the speed limit is dropping because of that. Probably have some switches up ahead. So we're going to add some brakes in again to kind of get us down to 35. Uh, what sucks, though, is that we're still 0.7 miles out, and uh, we're going to be late. Yeah, we're definitely going to be late. We're 15 seconds from making it there on time, and uh, we're going to go all the way down to 35 miles per hour. If we were able to stay at, like, 70... The entire time that would help us get there on time so i don't know maybe we're a little bit behind schedule i see a few yellow signals ahead so we got to watch out flashing all right here comes 35 and just about 100 yards i actually can see jamaica station right there it's actually a very nice station i really like it all right turn the brakes off do minimum power let's get it right on 35 matter of fact look at this it's going all the way down to 15 again because we're switching we're switching rails that speed limit is dropping really low for us so all the way down to 15 miles per hour adding the brakes here I'm not sure if we're gonna get there right in time 20 miles per hour now we're only like we're only like 30 seconds late so we're not bad not bad all right there we go so you can now see the numbers are in red because we're over the speed limit of 50 miles per hour but we're looking, we're looking good let's go ahead and let it coast the rest of the way it's a nasty rainy day out here in new york But did decent on time. Look at this terminal. This terminal's really cool. Very nicely done. All right, let's go ahead and add some brakes. Get this thing stopped. Uh, we do actually have a red signal right up ahead, so we don't want to slide too far. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, hoo, hoo, baby, we almost went too far. Unlock the right, please. All right, guys, get the heck out of my train. <laughs> Yeah, very cool station. I really like this station. 
Look at that. We were like, oh my god, I didn't notice. Look at how there's actually a little stop sign thingy right on on the sign. Like, I don't even know how we would even be even past that. All right, so this time we got to uh, switch sides now. We got to head back to Atlantic City or Atlantic Terminal, I'm sorry. So we need to shut down all the active controls, which include the headlights. Um, let's go ahead and turn the wipers off. And we'll shut off the reverser. We'll go to reverser down to neutral. Actually, no. Uh, reverser to key out, I believe. How do I get the key out? I think I have to go to uh, max break or emergency. I think go to emergency. Yeah, emergency. And then reverser key out. And then master keys and come all the way out. And beautiful. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, head to the other end of the train. So let's go ahead and get out of our seat. It's actually kind of cool when we get to do this kind of thing. Let's go ahead and open the door. Shut that. Hey guys, you ready to head back to Atlantic? To Atlanta Term? I'm gonna take the long way around because I wanna take I wanna check out this uh, station a bit. We are on a you know a deadline and whatnot, but I wanna check out the station. I really like the Jamaica stations, it's such a cool terminal here. What kind of run? You can hear the squishy feet. Long Island Railroad, sick. Alright, so we'll be on four still, so we need to go over here. Yeah, four. There we go. Excuse me, Mr. Baldhead. Oh, he has brothers. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. I really like this this station and this route. I, I for a long time I debated on getting the Long Island Railroad DLC because I don't know I just wasn't that interested in this type of train. But once I got it, it's truly really like the train is not all that amazing. I mean, I guess if you're like a local who lives out here, then you probably will really like it. But um, for somebody like me who's like. I think I've been on the train like this one time in my whole life. Um, it didn't really attract me that much. But the route is really cool. I really like the route. Um, and this is not even the whole thing. We're only doing a very small portion of this route today. Um, but I believe New York Penn Station is included. Um, uh, a bunch of other ones. It's pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and hop in this seat. Switch sides, And turn on the lights again. Uh, marker lights need to be off. Put the key in. That is so loud. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and do, uh, see, I think, yeah, reverser to neutral and max controller to max brake. And we'll go ahead and charge the brakes again to 90 PSI. Wait for that. It's going to reach 90. And right there is 90. Let go. Let's go ahead and lock the left side doors now. I like the sounds, though. I really like the sounds of this train. And let's go back to East New York again. So basically, right back the way we came. We got the green light. And we'll give it power. Oh, you know what? I think we're still in neutral. Yep. All right. There we go. I keep forgetting to switch to neutral. So there we go. Now we're now we're talking. Now we're talking. So the speed limit coming out of here is only 15. So let's just watch that. I'm going to go real lower on our power setting here. And we'll take with a nice slow creep. Alright guys, we're rolling and speed limit is at, I think it's 45, I just switched to 45. So we're going to try to stay on schedule, we're a little bit behind. And let's go ahead and uh, just punch it now. So we get to 45 and then we'll come back to coast. And we're 5 miles out from East New York again. Get that the minimum power. So as we kind of, we, we now know what to expect but in the reverse. So we're going to go into a couple tunnels uh, just to get to East New York. We'll be over the street again, and then uh, basically, I guess it's just a couple stops, and then we'll go to Atlantic Terminal, which will be underground again, which is pretty sweet. So I guess as you do these routes more and more, you get to understand better what to expect, the speed limit changes, the uh, the gradients, the uh, underground, above ground, whichever. It's the same way with every single train and, and route you do. I personally, I like to hop around the routes so much that I never actually really get familiar with them. So into the tunnel we go again. I think this is actually a pretty cool tunnel too. I love, I love this little uh, pylon section here in the middle. I think that's pretty sweet. I think it'd be really cool to be able to see, uh, well not be able, I know you can, but to see another train coming down the other direction, I think that'd be pretty cool uh, while that thing is in the center. So 4.2 miles out to go and we have, it looks to be three, three and a half minutes to get there. So hopefully we make it there on time. Speed limit is now 70. We're going to pull our power back to coast as we are going down into a tunnel here. 0.3% uh, uh, down gradient or downhill gradient. So we can pretty much let it coast. 
And if we need to, we can uh, pull the, put the minimum break on. But we should be good to go all the way out there. All right, we're approaching East New York Station here. Uh, speed limit actually just just dropped down to 45 miles per hour uh, on the way in here, so we had to slow down from that 70, sadly. Um, but we're coming here pretty quickly, uh, about 600 yards or so. I got the, uh, let's see, go down to minimum break. We're also going uphill 1.4%, so that's gonna help us get slowed down, but we're already a minute late. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you this much, man. This this route, this Long Island Railroad route, is very tight. The this, this schedule is very tight, I should say. Um, so far, every route I've done, I've been just just a little bit late. I feel like I've done, I've been doing pretty good job with some of the other European routes that I've been doing, like in Germany and and all that. But when I came back out here to Long Island, I'm like man, these this schedule is tight. Like I'm not even sure. <laughs> Maybe if I if I get my stopping distances, I know that I could really, I could really save some time on getting stopped um, better finding out what the stopping zones are there we go max break and we're here at East New York open up the right side doors and there we go all right doors are shut let's roll back to no strand Avenue so we should have two more stops to go And again, we're gonna freaking rocket boost out of here because we're trying to get back on schedule. We only have three minutes to get there. And as you can see ahead of us, there's a 30 mile uh, per hour speed limit. It looks like right when we get there, I think right after No Strand, it drops to 30 miles per hour. So we need to take advantage of these uh, faster speed limits. All right, here we go. You can see New York in the background. We're approaching No Strand Avenue, and we're, uh, I wouldn't say right on time, but we're gonna probably be around 30 seconds late. So I'm gonna break a little bit later than I have been, and hopefully we'll still make it. Let's go into coast, and we're gonna go basically max break, and uh, let's see if that works for us. We still might break just short. I don't know, we'll see. Wow, there we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Right on the mark. Heck yeah, man. That's amazing. Look at that. That is professional right there. <laughs> I unlock. Oh, wrong side. Unlock the right side. Let's go ahead and lock the left. Don't want anybody getting off on the tracks. That would be a hazard. Is it going to open? Unlock right. I think it's waiting for the left side to close. Unlock right. There we go. All right, thank you. All right, well, that's going to set us back another 30 seconds. Thank you very much. People out here ain't got no jackets on or nothing. All right, let's roll. Uh, let's go. We have 1.6 miles to go to our last stop, Atlantic Terminal. And we have, it looks to be five minutes. But as you guys remember, I said, speed limit is going to change as soon as we leave no strands. So we have about... Not even, not even 20 yards until we go down to 30 miles per hour. There it is. So from here on, here from here to Atlantic Terminal, we'll be going 30 miles per hour or less. So right now we're we'll going downhill. So we're gonna let it coast, and it'll go ahead and uh, go up. So you see the tunnel up ahead of us. All right, 400. All right, brakes are coming are applied down to five miles per hour. Let's see if we actually make it or not. Yeah, our sign is at that. Uh, basically, we need to be that slow by that yellow signal up ahead. All the way down to five miles per hour. We're at 12. 10. All right. It's more breaking. And there's seven, six. It's still dropping. That's okay. Wow, this is such a slow creep. Oh my god. I think 
I think this is definitely worse than when we first started at five miles per hour. Leaving Atlantic Terminal at five miles per hour was not as bad as approaching Atlantic Terminal at five, especially when you've gone all the way up to 70 miles per hour at one point during your, uh, during your work day. Uh, this feels like walking. I think I could walk faster than this. Alright, so we are slowly, painfully, slowly creeping at 5 miles per hour uh, into Atlantic Terminal. Looks like it's gonna be Platform 1. Yes, Platform 1. And uh, man, this is a slow creep. <laughs> Look at that lady walking next to me. Look at that. There's people walking at the same pace as this train is rolling. But you know, it is what it is. I know it's a safety thing and whatnot. I think this is also the end of the line. I think that. It might be, I'm not sure. I know some of these platforms have the little bumpers at the end. I think this may be one of them. Yeah, I think this is the end of the line. So it makes sense that it'd be so slow. We're not gonna come in here and smash it to the end of a concrete wall. But not a bad route. I actually kinda like it, nice and short. I kinda like the shorter routes. Uh, some of them are like an hour, two hours long. I'm like, eh, I don't know if I have that much time <laughs> or patience uh, to drive it this slow. Yeah, it's the end of the route here, here at Atlantic Terminal. So I, I like these shorter ones. I really like these shorter scenarios. And honestly, we can stop anywhere in here. As you can see, we're about a minute, probably I would say two minutes uh, late you know, once we actually stop. We arrived around, I don't know, a minute ago, but because we're going so slow, it's a lot slower. So here we go, we're gonna go ahead and stop. Right in time, baby. Let's go ahead and lock the doors. And there we go. Objective complete. Well done for completing this duty. Secure the train and head over to the main concourse. All right, guys. Welcome back to Atlantic Terminal uh, Platform 1. Hopefully, you have a good journey wherever you're headed. Let's hop back inside the train and get everything shut down once again. And it will be done for today. It's going to shut the lights off. Marker lights to on. I'm not exactly sure what a marker light is, but um, yeah, that's on. All right, Brake Master needs to go to Emergency, I believe. Yeah, there we go. And then the reverser can go to key out. And we can actually take the match key out. Cover your ears. There we go. And then we're going to climb out and walk over there. So I, I always lock myself in here. <laughs> Open that door. Thank you. And yeah, we're all emptied out. We could honestly walk through here and check. We're not going to do the whole train. Uh, we could walk through here and check and make sure things cleared out. Looks good. Looks like everybody's out of here. Got some people waiting for the next train. And we'll walk down here and uh, end our service. It's a nice short, short job today. Objective complete. How do we do? All right, so we ended up with a total score of 8,546. Gives us a silver medal. And, uh, you know, it's all right. I guess we leveled up on our M7 to level 7. Uh, I'm on level 14. Long Island's level 7 as well. Uh, not too bad. Uh, you can see we're a little bit late on most of these... Uh, yeah, on most of these by about a minute. We're about a minute to two minutes late. I think we were, we were on time to no strand the second time um, and a little late. Yeah, so it's all good. I think we did pretty good. Um, I know that when I first got started got started in train simulators, I, it took me way longer. I was way slower, way less consistent. So I'm not going to be too mad at that. Uh, but anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much. Let me know if you have any recommendations of specific routes you would like me to try on Train Sim World 2. Uh, and let me know if you're enjoying these videos. I do appreciate your comments, your feedback, and your and everything. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are really interested in some of these train stuff. So I really do appreciate that. But until next time, guys, remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, or give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time, next video. I'm out.